A week before the big game, the first floor of the Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium became an art studio. The turf, now covered by tarps, had paint, paint rollers, tape, and a huge banner laid across it. We walked in, the first time I saw the banner, I was very overwhelmed. The banner, also known as a TIFO, is 6,000 square feet. Whenever you're standing on one end of it and um, someone's on the other end, you can't hear anything they're saying. A pair of sororities will paint a new TIFO two weeks before every home game this season. Inspiration for the banners came from professional soccer. A lot of fans will make these and they'll have them in the stands. They're used for intimidation or to rally the team. And so we thought, why can't we do that here? The marketing department called on the sororities to back their new marketing strategy. Each sorority pairing could receive $1,000 towards their philanthropy for creating the best TIFO. Well, girls care about the hogs, girls care about their philanthropies, and that's two things they can really get behind. The girls have already spent 30 hours on this project, but the banner may only be up for 45 seconds. It's going to kind of shock everyone, I think, because they're not used to um, seeing like this much going into something. Team TIFO glues drop cloths together, grids the banner with yarn, traces, tapes, and draws a design, paints, then seals the TIFO all before rehearsing on Friday. For UATV, I'm Blakely Broughton.